How excited are you to be in Columbia for this event? You know, if I was a talent scout, which I'm not, I'm just a humble fashion critic diva, I would, I would take these girls to Hollywood with me. I cannot believe, do you grow them on trees here? I've never, I've seen such beautiful girls here. Very Hollywood worthy, but you know what? Don't send them, because they'll end up damaged and crazy. Okay? Uh, as the fashion critic himself, yes. I mean, what, so far, what's the best thing that, you, that you've seen? I, um, every designer, what I'm, I'm seeing a sensibility of things that are very feminine and fresh and fun and flirty. I've used a lot of F words. Um, and that's what I'm seeing. I don't like dour fashion. I like fashion that celebrates women, that is feminine. I don't like crazy stuff, gimmicks, Lady Gaga, I'm not into that. I like, like the, my favorites on the red carpet are Charlize and Halle Berry, real glamour, Angelina, real movie stars. And that's what I'm seeing tonight. I'm seeing extremely feminine, gorgeous girls in beautiful clothes. I'm really impressed. I'm, it takes a lot to blow me away. And this whole event is very polished and put together well. I didn't know what to expect when I landed here. I thought people would think I'm an alien. I thought kids would run screaming, mom, pop, what is that? Is it a boy or a girl? I don't know, is it an alien? But um, I'm blown away by the Southern hospitality, the professionalism of this show. Um, I love that Southern women are divas. So Columbia gets an A in your book. Columbia gets an A plus, 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 plus. I mean, the manners and the graciousness and the way, and women wear high heels here. I mean, we are speaking the same language. <laughs> You know, if, I, if this was a city or a state full of flats and women, and women with facial hair, I would, we would not get along. But I arrived here and women are actually wearing lipstick. God bless you, you Southern Bells. I love Southern Bells. Now tell me how it feels to be a part of an event that's for a cause. Well, it's very meaningful for me. People know a little bit about my history. I've had two kidney transplants and I'm still standing, even though they said I would never be here and here I am. And uh, I, what happened in that process was that I was, I, I was thrust into the role of being a role model, which I never wanted, because that's a lot of pressure and responsibility. But that kind of what happened was I was once the most moronic, <laughs> fluffy fashion report in the world, but it, it opened my heart to want to help people and to be at an event where we're all in the people helping business here. So we actually have something in common. When there are people that um, are disenfranchised, are, are, are ill, or have handicaps, I can relate to that. So this is very close to what's, what's in my heart and what I know of, because I've been there. I've been at the brink of tragedy and near death and all of that. So um, it's nice. It's, I feel it's like a homecoming. It's not foreign to me at all. It's a, obviously it would be a soft spot for me based on what I've experienced in my life. Anything else? I love the South. I really do. I love the South. Very happy here. Thank you for the warm welcome, the graciousness, the good manners. I'm going to bring the good manners back with me to Hollywood. And I'm going to say, let's bring back, how about a return to manners? So I'm going to tweet about Columbia and how awesome and welcoming the people are. And I love these good old-fashioned manners. I'm having a great time.